Mowbray Cemetery is one of a number of private Muslim burial sites in Cape Town. The video, which was posted on social media, has caused consternation. In it, a group of men can be seen making a payment to a man who works at the cemetery in order to get access for the burial of a loved one. The MJC says the pricing structures, operating hours and decisions made by the cemetery's board are not under its control. When it comes to the pricing of things, when it comes to the operating hours, these are decisions made by these various boards. Um, that is, uh, the MGC has no authority over that, has no control over that. Because they are private, it is just like the Masajid. Where Masajid committees and, and, and trust are, they make their own decisions. The MGC advises, like we have done with the closure of the Masajid, the MGC advises and uh, thereafter the, the various trusts uh, and boards of cemeteries, they des uh, decide what they are going to do on the way forward. So the MJC is an advisory capacity. We have no jurisdiction. The MJC says late burials have a direct impact on workers at the cemeteries. The community has been urged to consider municipal facilities. The city says it has also created a new Muslim burial block at the Maitland Cemetery, which can accommodate over 800 graves. Specifically uh, for our Muslim community, we have just over 10 cemeteries. We charge a single fee, uh, no matter the day or, or time of the burial, but also more importantly, the city does not uh, charge an after-hours fees. We do, however, appeal uh, to our Muslim community uh, to please adhere to COVID regulations and also to please try uh, their best to arrive at the cemeteries on time uh, so that there is no knock-on effect for other burial parties that must follow. Meanwhile, there's been a call for a peaceful protest at the cemetery. Some feel that the manner in which destitute families are being treated is unfair. If we see what transpired, 500 rand charges for being late, uh, does that even make sense? We know with this whole COVID thing, we got this hold-up uh, at uh, hospitals. Then also you get hold-ups on uh, the M5, and not just the M5, wherever you go. So is it fair for anyone to be charged an extra 500 rand? Let's have a look at it. Before COVID, uh, people paid anything between 1,500 rand a hole to 1,000 rand a hole. Now people are looking at, like I say, four, five, seven, eight, nine thousand rand. So where's the justice in this? Is this truly justful towards the people or is this just a big money-making scam? Albertain says the MJC has a duty to intercede on behalf of the community. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.